five, four, three, two. We have RD-180 ignition and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and two solid rocket boosters ignite to generate more than 1.5 million pounds or nearly 6.7 million newtons of thrust to lift the rocket on its way towards a geosynchronous transfer orbit. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitchover to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 47 seconds. Following burnout, the two SRBs are jettisoned at 2 minutes 9 seconds to shed their weight. Within the next two minutes of first stage flight, the Atlas V rocket will more than triple its velocity. Approaching booster engine cutoff, the Atlas V is burning propellant at a rate of 700 pounds or 320 kilograms per second. With propellant levels depleted, the booster engine shuts down at 4 minutes 10 seconds, having reached space. The Atlas V is now traveling nearly 12,500 miles or 20,000 kilometers per hour, located 73 miles or 118 kilometers in altitude and 235 miles or 378 kilometers downrange. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 7% of what it did at liftoff. Ten seconds later, Centaur's RL-10C11 main engine ignites for the first burn. Fueled by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, this burn by the newest and higher performing variant of the RL-10 engine powers Centaur to orbital velocity. During ascent, the SIBR satellite is protected inside a 4-meter diameter payload fairing. At 4 minutes 34 seconds, once the vehicle has climbed above the densest part of Earth's atmosphere, the payload fairing is jettisoned. At 15 minutes 6 seconds, cutoff of the Centaur main engine, or MECO-1, occurs. 31 seconds later, EZ-3 is deployed. EZ-3 and EZ-4 are fully integrated flight systems attached to the aft end of the Centaur. Each of these systems contains a 12U canister containing small multi-manifest satellites sponsored by the United States Air Force Academy that will help in creating critical capabilities that support the warfighter. Following EZ-3 deployment, the Centaur performs a 180-degree roll and deploys EZ-4 at 16 minutes 25 seconds. At 31 minutes 6 seconds, the Centaur main engine is restarted. Following a nearly three and a half minute burn, powered flight is complete and the Centaur main engine shuts down. Centaur and the spacecraft will coast for the next eight minutes. At 42 minutes 46 seconds, Centaur releases the fifth Sibers Geo Satellite for the United States Space Force, providing early missile warning detection for the United States. <laughs>